Hi, I'm Sam Bowden and this is Lighting Insights. So today we're going to talk about dimming with LED. Uh, dimming with LED has always had a bit of a bad rep in the professional market because it's always been seen to drop off quite a lot at the bottom end. So some things have happened over the last few years to try and cure this problem, one of which is to introduce 16-bit dimming. So the question is, does 16-bit dimming cure all these dimming issues? Well, no, unfortunately not, it doesn't. The problem that happens with 16-bit dimming is because you're using two channels uh, to create the dim, what happens is you have a first channel with 255 increments of dimming and a second channel that produces 255 increments of dimming in between each of the 255 increments on the first channel. This gives you a total of 65,000 steps of dimming in the LED fixture, so a lot of control to be able to dim with. So the problem then comes from the desks. The desks are only outputting a certain frequency of DMX. So normal desks like uh, an Avo Lights or a Grand MA will output DMX at 42 hertz. This is 42 frames per second. So say we were doing 100% dim over 10 seconds, actually the desk can only output 420 DMX commands, not the 65,000 that, that is available to the unit. So we're going to look at a unit now and we're going to see some of the settings that are implemented within the unit to try and cure this problem and make the dimming a lot smoother. So first here I have a fixture that's just set up with 16-bit dimming but with none of its internal features set. So if we look here, I can pull the unit down and over 10 seconds we'll see the unit dim down. When it comes to the bottom of the dim, what we should see is a real step off from the last sort of 10 to 15% where it will literally just switch off. So now we've seen what happens when a unit doesn't have any settings set inside it. I can show you some of the settings that are available to try and increase the performance of that dimming curve. So here on this Colorado 2 quad zoom, we have a couple of options that we can use. The first is curve. This changes the dimming curve. So we have lots of different types of dimming curve. You have a linear curve, which is a straight line, and then you have shallower curves, which will have a steep drop in the start of the curve, and then this will shallow out at the bottom end to create a tungsten type feel and a nice smooth dim. So here I'm going to set this to our, our most extreme curve, which is curve 3. So you can see there we've got that to curve 3. Now the other one is dim speed. Dim speed dictates the speed of which the LED will come down and dim. So despite the fact that the DMX channel is coming down at one speed, the light will say, nope, I'm going to come at this nice smooth speed to make sure that I provide the best curve that I can. So here we'll come in, going to dim, I'm going to change that to dim speed 4, which is our slowest. So now what we'll see when I bring the unit back up again is that we have the same performance on the brightness and all of that, um, but as I bring the unit back down, what should happen is that the unit very slowly peters out at the bottom end and you don't see that step that you saw before. So it won't come down and snap like this. It will literally just fade out. So here we've seen how we can use the settings within a unit, so the dim speed and the dim curves, to create a very smooth dim with the LED fixture. Uh, showing how actually LED can be very, very smooth at dimming uh, and emulate lamps, if not perhaps even smoother than lamps. So there are further alternative ways to demonstrate the smooth capability of the dimming on the LED. Uh, and one way to do this is to use the Ovation ED190. The nice thing about the ED190 is that it can actually dim via power, so you can direct drive the power into the unit. This is the smoothest way to create a dim on any, any fixture. So here we're going to see how when we slide the fader up and down we can have a nice smooth dim without that bottom end drop off that we used to see with a lot of LED fixtures. So here we've seen some of the different ways that you can get smooth dimming from LED fixtures. That wraps up this episode of Lighting Insights. Thank you for watching.